Days have passed since the plane crash. For a second time, we attempted to escape by boat with disastrous results. I knew it would happen, just like the first time. The calm sea turned hostile with no explanation. The moment we made for open water, the winds picked up, followed by an impossible wave. Like a child's toy, our lifeboat was smashed violently into the rocky shore. Now, two more lie dead, and another is wounded beyond help. The others are starting to panic, and they're looking to me for a plan. I do have one, but it doesn't include them. They are weak and stupid, a liability in this place. I suggested they make another attempt to leave, but I won't join them. To do so would be suicide. This is clear to me now.
No. I don't think so. When we washed up on this rock, the rain and wind pounded us for days. We couldn't build shelter or forage for food. Christ, we couldn't even move. It was like some enormous hand was holding us down. Just as the storm was finally breaking, Father Matthias came to us. He was calm and soft-spoken. He seemed to know us, our names, where we were from. He spoke to us in our native language, and we listened. And as we listened, he told us the truth of this island. He offered us a choice, salvation or death. Some chose to defy him, and without hesitation, he killed them then and there. 
Father Matthias didn't seem malicious or angry, just calm and decisive. As I stood there, in the sand, wet with the blood of my comrades, I knew I could never refuse him. been used by a villager or a noble maybe. Gone by, used by samurai to relay orders to their soldiers in battle. Pretty solid. Must be made of stained cypress. <laughs> <laughs> 